Hi, I'm Kim Sune, and welcome. We are cooking with Suki's Home Chef Collection. Today we're going to make lamb rogan josh, which is originally Persian, but it's really become a signature Kashmiri dish. We're going to use half and half, half korma, and half of the classic Indian curry sauce. Now what's really nice about adding the korma in it is that it gives it a really nice nuttiness from the cashews. So let's go ahead and make our lamb rogan josh using Suki's sauces. So we've got our beautiful lamb meat here. I'm using leg of lamb. You could use lamb shoulder, but if you use lamb shoulder, you have to cook it longer. Leg of lamb, you don't have to, you could just cook it for about 10 minutes actually. So I'm just going to get it really nice and brown. It's a lot leaner than soda. You don't have to cook it as long. And this has been browning. It'll take about eight to 10 minutes to get it really nice and brown. I'm gonna brown it on all sides. And again, you don't really need to season your meat because you've got all of the flavors in both of the Suki's Home Chef Collection sauces. So another good trick when you're browning meat, is you want to pat your meat dry so that once it goes in, it doesn't, if it has too much liquid or water on it, it'll steam. And that's what you want to do is that you want it to get brown. So, okay, so I brown this. You can get a little bit browner. But once it is brown, you just take it, you can either move it to the side of the pan or just take some of it out. But let it keep browning. That's okay. And then you've got your oil already in there. So we've got the classic Indian curry paste sauce. Just add that in there. As well as the korma, which again has the cashew nut. So it'll give it a nice nutty flavor. So just cook that off a little bit. It, it's really fragrant, so you'll start smelling it. And then um, I like to add a little onion. You don't really have to, but this onion is really nice in there. Okay, so you want to cook your, your sauce off a little bit right there. And then we're going to add, let's add a little, we'll add one and a half cups of water. You get all of that nice and combined right there. You can go ahead and switch to a spoon. Get that paste all mixed together. You want to bring it back to a boil, light boil. I should go ahead and add a half cup of yogurt. It gives it a nice tang. And then you add your meat back to it. There's some in there, of course. Go ahead and add your, the rest of your lamb. Bring that up. So you want to mainly make sure that everything is kind of smoothed out and even, both of your curry sauces, the classic Indian and the Suki's korma. Bring that up to a light boil and reduce the heat. Go ahead and cover it and we're going to let it cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. Once again, it's, it's leg of lamb, so it doesn't need that long. If you're using a different cut, like shoulder or just a lesser cut, you just want to go ahead and cook it for about an hour. But this will be done in about 10 minutes. Okay, so our lamb rogan josh has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. And because we've used the leg of lamb, again, it doesn't need to cook for that long. So I'm just gonna spoon it up over some steamed basmati rice. And why not garnish it with a little bit of fresh cilantro. And I also have a little bit of yogurt raita. You can make it with cucumber, sometimes with apple. And there's your lamb rogan josh with Suki's half korma and half classic Indian curry sauce.